Marvelous Living Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. We are back for another episode of TNA Impact. We are on the road to no surrender in just a few weeks' time, and we are kicking things off with the number one contender to the Knockouts World Title in action. Kylan King on her way down to the ring. So Kylan King making her way down to the ring, ready for action. Kylan King, of course, won a fatal four-way a couple weeks ago on TNA. Actually, I believe last week on TNA Impact to become the number one contender. I don't think I had the script for last week's episode, so I can't confirm one way or the other. But that sounds right. And tonight she's taking on the debuting Danny Luna, making her way down to the ring. Danny Luna ready for action tonight, part of subculture alongside the current Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster. Who defend, of course, this weekend in a fatal four-way matchup at Ring of Honor Gold Rush. Without right, further ado... Here we go. First shoulder block, forearm strike now. Danny Luna going in, grabs on the number one contender, slams her down with a fall away sl or with a sidewalk slam. Uranagi, that's the word. We're getting there. First matchup of the night for a recording session is always the rough one. Off the ropes, boot in the face from Kylan King. Grabs onto her, getting her back up to her feet now. Kylan King pulls her eye in, grabs onto her, and throws her across the ring. Grabs onto her now, pulling her in, and suplex again, taking her down. Kylan King has got her down now, and Kylan grabs onto Danny Luna, pulling her in. Here we go, Kylan King looking to show her power off here. Another suplex. Kicking away at her now is Kylan King. She's got her down, kicking the back. Danny Luna back to her feet, running clothesline, taking her down. And now Danny Luna kicked in the ribs. Right hook now. Kylan King firing back. Knocking her back here. Running shoulder block. Takes her down. Getting her back up to her feet now. Kylan King overhand chop. Into another chop. Firing away again. Repeated chops now. Knocking her back here. And now Kylan King. No. Right hook for Danny Luna. Luna now grabs a hold of her. Scoops her up. Into a fall away slam. No. Kylan King counters. And now Danny Luna grabs a hold of her from behind, countered Kylan King, knocking her back, and King pulls her in and drives her face first into the mat, and Kylan King looking to wrap this one up quick. She's not paid by the hour. She's got her up. She's got her down. Cover. One, two, three. Like I said, not paid by the hour. Kylan King gets the win. Massive victory there for the number one contender tonight. And only a few minutes into the show, we've still got plenty more to come. Well, Kylan King picks up the win, but there's the Knockouts World Champion Trinity. Finally here tonight to have a face-to-face -face with our challenger. For no surrender. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, look out! Well, behind Trinity, there's, there's Taylor Wilde, the other member of the Coven. And the Coven assaulting the, the Knockouts champion. Trinity taken down by Kylan King. And Taylor Wilde drives her to the mat with a German suplex. 
and the Coven standing tall. Ladies and gentlemen, as the director of authority around here, I have a match to make for no surrender. Because Josh Alexander, there are a lot of men that won that X Division title. Many men won the X Division title, but two stick around more than any. Josh Alexander is going to defend against the man who lost his shot last week due to outside interference, Alan Angels. However, to ensure that Bullet Club don't interrupt the match again, the Samoan Werewolf, Jacob Fatu, is going to be in the match as well. And it's going to be a triple threat, a three-way dance, and no surrender for the X Division Championship. As Director of Authority, I have decreed it, and you will respect my authority. We're on to some tag team action now here, folks. As the number one contenders to the TNA tag team titles are going to be in action. Their opponents, though, first, we have got Jonathan Gresham on his way to the ring. And I believe this will be the last time we have Jonathan Gresham appearing before he becomes a mod. Which, uh, super nice thing about mods is that, uh, with the 2K24 stuff coming, as soon as a tutorial purporting mods is out, well, I'll be a busy boy. With permission from the modders, of course. So, Jonathan Gresham marching down to the ring tonight, though. Gresham ready for action tonight. His tag team partner tonight, though. Another member of the X Division, another high flyer, another speedster, if you will. Speedball, Mike Bailey on his way down to the ring. Mike Bailey and Jonathan Gresham, they've been an exciting duo. Haven't really gotten the wheels turning in the tag division, though. They've been trying their best. Nonetheless, Mike Bailey making his way down to the ring. Mike Bailey and Jonathan Gresham team up tonight, but they've got to take on the man who will be challenging ABC in just a couple of weeks on, what day? February the... Oh, that's next week! For the TNA Tag Team titles, it's the Embassy of Aaron, Brian Cage, and Big Bill on their way down to the ring. <laughs> Shit, that's next Sunday. I have lost so much track of time because I have had a busy life. To the point where the fact it is almost the end of January has it slipped my mind. So, Brian Cage and Big Bill have made their way to the ring. further ado, Brian Cage and Jonathan Gresham starting it out. Here we go. Goes for a clothesline, does Cage. Gresham with a chop, countered. Brian Cage now jabbing away at him. Brian Cage kicks him in the ribs, punches him in the back. Cage getting him back up to his feet now. Brian Cage with Gresham. Here we go. Into the corner. Brian Cage, uppercut. Shoves him away into neckbreaker to, to Jonathan Gresham. Gresham is down, kicks him in the ribs now. Jonathan Gresham turns him around. Has Brian Cage, pulls him in. Sweeps the leg, taking him down. Gresham now with Cage. Has him by the head, and Jonathan Gresham with a punch in the head. Aaron Stevens watching on. Remember, Aaron Stevens has made a deal with Chris Adonis, the masterpiece. Adonis has uh, seemingly loosely agreed that if Embassy of Aaron win next weekend at No Surrender, then... uh. He'll, he'll gladly join the group that's been offering him a spot for weeks now. Brian Cage with an uppercut. Adonis, he essentially said, if I'm going to join the group, I want to see success from you guys. I haven't seen that yet. If I'm going to join, I want to see that you guys have what it takes to win titles. And uh, you know what? I think that's a fair assessment from Adonis. I think that's a fair, a fair demand is to see success before he's willing to just join. 
As Brian Cage is taking down Mike Bailey by kicking away at him now. Mike Bailey in trouble here. Speedball getting the boots just put to him by Brian Cage. And now Cage grabs a hold of him. And Brian Cage throws him in the corner. Tag is made to Big Bill. And the seven-footer with a right hook. Big Bill now grabs onto him, lifts him up, and throws him down in the center of the ring. Big Bill now grabs him and slamming him down repeatedly by the back of the head. Big Bill now deadlift and pepper slam to Mike Bailey. Big Bill picking him back up to his feet. Bill with Bailey throwing him across the ring into the corner. Tag is made back to Brian Cage. Cage now up into double axe handle. Brian Cage grabs onto him, pulls him in. Brian Cage taking him down. Now Brian Cage with Jonathan Gresham. Bailey was trying to crawl towards Gresham to get a tag, and Brian Cage cutting him off. Brian Cage now grabs Mike Bailey, goes for him. Bailey countering Mike Bailey, grabs onto him, kicks him in the ribs, and now grabs a hold of him behind Mike Bailey. Poison Rana taking him down. Mike Bailey has got him down. Mike Bailey running towards the corner, and Big Kick takes him down again. He's got him down. Now Bailey pulls back on the arm of Cage into a cover. Mike Bailey cover. No! Brian Cage gets the shoulders up quickly. Cage with a super kick. Brian now grabs a hold of him. Brian Cage throws him across the ring into the corner. Tags made right back to Bill. Now Brian Cage and Big Bill. Oh my god. Brian Cage launches him. And takes down Jonathan Gresham. As Big Bill. Right hook to Bailey. Goes for an elbow strike. Mike Bailey with a super kick. Into corkscrew. Taking down Big Bill. Big Bill is down. Mike Bailey. Fought with a boot in the face from Big Bill. Big Bill talking some smack now. Runs in. in front of the clothesline. Nobody home. Pulls him in. Big Bill has got him up now. And power slam to Mike Bailey. Grabs a hold of him now. Getting him back up to his feet. Big Bill kicks him in the ribs. Pulls him in. Lifts him up. Big Bill slamming him down. Grabs Mike Bailey now and gets him back up to his feet. Big Bill with Mike Bailey off the ropes. They collide. Mike Bailey kicks him in the knee. And Bailey's got him down to one knee. And even still on one knee, Big Bill is still somehow bigger. Now Mike Bailey grabs a hold of him. He's got Bill back up to his feet. Big Bill. Elbow strikes, knocking back Mike Bailey. Big Bill now. Knocking Jonathan Gresham off the apron. Shoulder block to Mike Bailey. Runs the ropes. Down goes Jonathan Gresham. Gresham goes down. Bailey getting picked back up to his feet now. And Big Bill. For a strike. Gresham out of the ring. Bailey now caught. Big Bill has a hold of him. And Big Bill with... A choke slam to but to Mike Bailey. One, two, three. And the Embassy of Aaron continues their victory. A massive, massive victory there. The Embassy of Aaron score the win. We still got plenty more coming up. We've got Eric Bugenhagen in action up next. But folks, we've got an announcement from an artist formerly known as a different name. Hello. I am the artist formerly known as Elias. And while that fact may be true, and that may be what you have called me for three months now, since my arrival at TNA, things have changed, the industry has changed, the winds have changed. It is time to let go of the past, and look 
towards the rebirth. Tonight is the last time that you will hear that name. Tonight is the last time that I will ever call myself that. Tonight is the death of Elias. And now I ask you, next week, who wants to walk with Elijah? All right, we've got some more singles action coming up next. As out first, here is the digital media champion, Moose. What the hell? What it? What? <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> Brian Myers is the one in action. I, to be quite frank with you, do not know where the actual hell that just came from. I am trying to see if there's a tab open or something. My suspicion... About to do it. The slot that Brian Myers is modded into is the hidden road dog slot from where he was removed between 2K22 and 23. So my assumption is that the audio from road dog's entrance started playing. But anyways, his opponent, the man who next weekend is going to challenge Moose for the digital media title at No Surrender, Eric... Boogenhagen! Boogenhagen on his way down to the ring, ready for action. Boogenhagen made a shock debut back at, uh, back at Bound for Glory in the Call Your Shot gauntlet. Very quickly made an enemy out of the digital media champion in Moose. Did Boogenhagen. So now Bugenhagen, he's got a shot at being digital media champion in just nine nights. Or ten nights, excuse me, because it'll be on Sunday, I guess. Next weekend is a, yes, next weekend's a double premiere weekend, I believe. Because I believe next weekend also features, let me double check before I say anything stupid. Bad Blood, that is right. Myers going after Bugenhagen, and Bugenhagen with a double axe handle. Back up to his feet now, and Bugenhagen with Myers throws him across the ring into the corner of the clothesline, and Bulldog taking him down. He goes around next to him, kicked in the head by Myers. Myers taking him down now. Brian Myers goes for right hook. Bugenhagen slapping him in the face, and punches him right in the mouth into another double axe handle. We also have the, the indie god, Matt Cardona, in the corner of Brian Myers tonight. Of course, we've uh, recently announced major wrestling gods will all be in action in just 48 hours at Ring of Honor's Gold Rush event. Where Matt Cardona is going to defend the Ring of Honor Television Championship against Matt Taven. And the major wrestling gods will take on Dalton Castle and the boys to bring back the Ring of Honor six-man tag team titles. That were temporarily taken out of action when uh, when Ray was originally going to take over Ring of Honor. But now that that's not going to happen for reasons we talked about on the last stream, where uh, we revealed that season six Ray will take over SmackDown instead. Uh, I've decided I've made the executive decision to bring back the six man tag titles since I enjoy them. They were going to go away because Ray didn't. There's your little peek behind the curtain with that. As Bugenhagen taken down Myers and now Moose. Up in the face of Bugenhagen again. Trying to buy Myers some time. Brian Myers grabs him. Swings him around now. Brian Myers with Bugenhagen off the ropes. Goes for him. Elbow strike now. Kicks him in the ribs. Pulls him in. Bugenhagen with Myers. 
Lifts him up and taking him down. Cover by Bugenhagen for the one, for the two, for the three. Takes down Myers in quick and easy fashion tonight. Does Eric Bu Bugenhagen. A big win there tonight for Bugenhagen. Oh, and now you're surrounded, Bugenhagen. Now he's surrounded. He's got the wrestling god on one side, the indie god on the other. He throws a shot at Moose. Oh, and Cordona with a knee strike. Moose and Cordona, the major wrestling gods, putting the boots to him now. And Bugenhagen ducks. There's a chop from Cordona. Bugenhagen knocking him back now, but Moose now coming in, and Moose. Whoa, Bugenhagen swings him around, and Cordona. Whoa, wait for radio silence. Bugenhagen knocking them both back. Punch to the gut and Cardona. Oh, got him with radio silence. And now Cardona telling Moose, get him. Whoa, but Cardona was in the way. And so Moose knocks him back with another right hook. And Moose now tells Cardona, get him. And Cardona, oh no! Overshot and accidentally hit Moose. Cardona's still processing what just happened. He just overshot and hit Moose. And now Bugenhagen. Dropping Cardona. And now he's got Moose and Eric Bugenhagen. Look at us stand tall by taking down both men. Main event coming up. Look, thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here for another incredible, amazing conference. I'm so glad to be here tonight, back in the Impact Zone, here to answer questions for the Ali for TNA campaign. All right, so we've uh, we've we've gotten rid of some problem so-called journalists that have been here these last few times. Um, so so let's uh let, let's try and get some real questions all right no more of that uh, no more of those accusations no more of those uh loaded questions that you so-called questions that you're all trying to throw to try and catch me off guard and slip me up right i mean i am i am a wrestler who fights for you the people right and when i eventually do become the tna world champion i am doing it for you, the people, because you deserve a champion you can count on. You deserve a champion that represents the common man like you. A champion who doesn't come out and just sing about his opponent's flaws. A champion that comes out there and he makes sure that everybody knows that he is the best and he is there to fight for them. So, um, let, let's say our first question right here, all right? Yeah, yeah, you right there. Um, yes, hello there, uh, yes, um, Tim Caldwell here, Tim Caldwell here for, um, Tim Caldwell here reporting for Occult Addicted, and so, Mustafa, my question tonight is, uh, if you're, if you're trying to be a man of the people, what has caused you to, in, in trying to represent the common men, what has caused you to hire the grizzled young vets to be your security? Right, right, well, while I am a common man like the rest of you, I am also... A heavily targeted, a heavily accused, a heavily, uh, a heavily mistreated man. A man that gets accused and ridiculed for things that I should not be. And so naturally it makes sense to have these like-minded individuals like Drake and Gibson here by my side to make sure that anyone here in the impact zone that tries to, tries to, tries to maliciously sabotage the Ali for TNA campaign is... Well, they're, they're properly dealt with, and they have uh, the chance to discuss it with me like an adult, rather than, you know, running around like like children, let's say. Alright, alright, next question. Uh, no, who, who let him back in the building? No, not you. Get him in out of here. Alright, um, how about, how about you? You right there. Um, yes, hello, Ali. Uh, 
Um, hello. Um, I, it, I'm, let's just be real. We all know who it is. We all know who I'm talking for. Look, uh, you know, typically we've seen Kalia Shot Gauntlet winners actually, like, invoke the Kalia Shot by now. So I'm just kind of curious when you plan to. God, who let you in the building? You're the worst champion in the history of this company. Hey, right, come on now. There's been worse. Look, I, you know, I, I just, it, it, uh, uh, um, look, uh, oh, God, uh, uh, uh shit, who let him ask that stupid question? Okay, right, call your shot gauntlet. Look, I'm going to call my shot soon, right? I just, you know, I need, um, I, this conference is over. Who the hell has someone asked me that? Thought we screened these questions already. Whoever said he could get in here is fired. All right, it is now main event time. Um, someone might need to get like campaign manager from Mustafa. Look, I'm I'm the last person to talk to about anything political, because I quite honestly don't give a shit. But. Uh, Ali might need a campaign manager. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Because, uh... Whew, that conference was a little rough, it seemed. However, it is now main event time. As here comes Frankie Kazarian down to the ring. Kaz ready for action this evening. Former X Division champion Frankie Kazarian. Kaz has made his way down to the ring. He's taking on one of the men that challenges Joe Hendry in just a week's time for the Impact or the TNA World Title. Still adjusting. It's been you know it's been almost a month and I'm still adjusting. He takes on Rowan. The monstrous Rowan storming down to the ring. The sinister minister, Father James Mitchell. Can we? Okay, thank you. The sinister minister, Father James Mitchell by his side. Rowan marching down to the ring. He has been an absolute dominant force here in TNA for quite some time. So, Rowan has made his way down to the ring. It is now Rowan versus Kazarian, our main event, without any further ado. Here we go. Oh, Kaz out of the gate with a sling blade into a cover on Rowan, trying to take him down. Cover, no! Rowan out at one. Rowan back to his feet now, sidestep, grabs onto Kaz. Pulls him in, Rowan gets him up on his shoulders, and Rowan drops him into the mat. And now Rowan grabs onto Kazarian, picks him up with the claw slam. Kicks him down, Rowan now grabs him again. Does it again! Kicks him down now, Rowan grabs him by the face again. Another slam! And Rowan, good God! Just fire him with, with claw slams to Kaz. Pushes him back. Shoulder block. Taking him down. Rowan now getting him back up to his feet again. And Rowan. Close line. My God. Is Rowan about to do this? This is a TNA original. This is a man who's fought for the world title. And Rowan. In less than. What? Wasn't even a minute? Does anyone got time on that? Hits the heel kick. One. But the rope break. That rope break saved Kaz, I'm convinced. As he kicks Rowan in the face now, Rowan turned over with a kick. Kazarian has him down now, grabs a hold of him, pulls him in. Rowan caught by the arm. Kazarian pushing his arm down into the mat now, and Kaz stops the arm of Rowan. Rowan goes down, kicked by Kazarian. He's got a hold of him now, and Rowan caught by the arm, kicking the ribs by Kazarian again. Now Frankie Kazarian, knee into the face, has got him down. Rowan rolls out of the bottom rope. Kaz going up to the top rope. Kaz 
Going to fly, Frankie Kazarian. Oh! Splat! Goes Kazarian. Rowan with a knee strike into the head. Getting him back up to his feet now. Rowan with Kazarian. Throws him back into the ring. And Rowan sending Kaz back into the ring. Rowan follows him back in. Rowan grabs him and stomps him in the back. And now he's got to hold him again. Rowan, double axe handle. Grabs onto him, getting him back up now. Rowan with Kazarian back up. Rowan turned, knocked in the corner now. Kazarian countered. Rowan kicks him in the ribs now. And Rowan putting the boots to Kazarian. Kazarian! Kicks him in the back. Rowan knocked back now. And Kazarian runs in. Take a with shoulders. And now Kazarian's got him. Rowan counters now. Rowan. There's the kick again. And this time I don't think the ropes are in reach for Kaz. Two. Three. Rowan with the win. Massive victory there for Rowan tonight. Well, hang on. Well, here's one of the men that Rowan faces next week in the main event. In the main event of the uh, in the main event of the upcoming pay per view, No Surrender. The Overman E C three. Heading down to the ring. EC3 marching down to the ring. Of course, he came out at the main event a few weeks ago, and that's where he staked his claim to the TNA World title, claiming that he was supposed to get a shot at it almost two years ago now in the first episode of TNA Universe at Bound for Glory, and he was pulled from the matchup for... For contractual reasons. So EC3 making his way down. He's circling Rowan. So. You're the monster around here, huh? The guy that thought you had what it takes to lay me out. What, three weeks ago now? You think I was just going to come out here and take that? You think I was just going to let that happen? I mean, honestly, what makes you think you can be the TNA World Champion, huh? You got nothing to say? God, you're boring. Come on, at least say something. Fine. Let's get someone out here who I can actually have a conversation with. Say his name. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Gentlemen. Whole lot of talking going on around here. About two men who are coming after my TNA world title. We have a monster, and we have the man who says he's the Overman, because, well, calling himself Over is the closest he's ever going to get to being there again. I have a lot I can say about both of you. The Never Overman... And the Faction Hopper. In fact, maybe I could write a song about it. Well, but maybe that'd be too easy, huh? Maybe it'd be too easy. I have a feeling I know what's going to happen here. I'm outgunned, I'm outweighed, I'm... Whoa! But not out... Witted. EC3 may beg to differ. EC3. One percenter. You may be big. You may be tough hell. 
You might be even world champion right now. But you don't bet against EC3 in a TNA title match. That'll be your first mistake and your last.